we're, now we're getting a lot of reports on it that, that uh, SCA is trying to back out of this obligation to Merrill. People are worried about another big write-down from Merrill. What do you think? Well, absolutely. I mean, look, the, 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 what happened over the weekend with Bear Stern was not a solution to the problem. It was further indication of the depths of this problem. Uh, there are more problems out there. There are more issues. And there's huge uncertainty. And the market's going to continue to gyrate up and down until we get more visibility into what's actually going on. What are these assets really worth? Mike, $3 billion, though? <laughs> it's a lot. Worth a lot, $3 billion, if this is going to pan out. Yeah, but look, I get back. The Fed took remarkable steps over the weekend on Sunday by, by opening up, like I said before, providing liquidity. Okay, it's to, it's to primary dealers, not everybody. Look, getting back to this argument, why don't they let somebody fail? They will let somebody fail. Somebody who's not a primary dealer, somebody who's not a bank. The role of the <laughs> Fed is to shore up and act as a backstop for the banking system. Of course it's going to do no, that. No, that's and not the And it decided role of the that Fed. The, the primary dealers <laughs> fall into that category. Uh, Merrill Lynch, if, if that had not been the case, I'll tell you this, if we didn't see that action on Sunday, Merrill Lynch will be down 25% today. What we have to worry about for these companies are these sort of, you know, bear raids, these speculative attacks. We saw Bear Stones had 20% of the float was short sellers. That's very, very scary. Scott, a day like today feels like 4% forward, 2% back with these markets. You know, we yeah. are pulling back by about 2% for most of the indices. Why? Well, let's be realistic about one thing. With all of these financial problems, the market hasn't crashed. 2,000 points from an October high with the majority of stocks and groups, though not doing well like in a bull market, certainly nowhere near as bad as the financials. This is a financial problem. It's got to work its way through. Now, Peter Schiff is going to tell you that nothing is worth anything and everything is going to zero. I promise you that's not going to happen. I can almost guarantee it as an individual. But the fact is, you've got to let the chips fall where they may. I think, again, as I've said, the maximum strength on the system, I think, is over. Peter. Well, first of all, everything is not going to zero, but sure. Ah! This, we, had a, we, had, we, had a, we had a bear market rally yesterday. It wasn't the start of a bull market. So obviously the market's going to go down. Uh, it's a bear market. But, you know, look at what happened. U.S. residential real estate is worth trillions of dollars less than these geniuses on Wall Street thought. They securitized all this stuff. So all these bonds are out there. They're not worth anywhere near what they thought. I mean, imagine if during the dot-com bubble, they had, they had loaned trillions of dollars it's out using dot-com. Well it's all right. and almost all discounted. No, it's not. It's yes, not, it is. is it? It's not even begun to be And the fear in the market, the fear in the market is such a perfect opposite indicator. Come on. Now, you don't, the, the you don't, you don't seem is, too frightened. Real estate I'm is not right. frightened. All right, Mike, there you go. Mike, it's Mike, oh, actually, I want to ask you right. something that Liz brought up earlier, and that is her point that this is, that this is fears based against Merrill, that this is a kind of a slap against Merrill, that Merrill's got some problems. Do you agree with, the, with what her assertion was earlier? And tell me why. I, I, some, I agree. Some of you are smarter Look, than me. I agree, some. and I have to, you know... It's what we have to guard against, in my opinion, because, good look, all these companies that do business with the Fed, they are, there's a list of collateral and securities that they are allowed to own. And a lot of them are very high quality. They're all high quality AAA. It could be from treasuries on down the line. So they see what's on the books. You know, but these companies have come under speculative attack. It was a liquidity issue with Bear Stearns where their counterparties did not want to lend it money anymore for precisely, I'd say, like I said before, we could see the same thing happen to Merrill uh, if it were not for what happened SCA on Sunday is speculating. night. SCA is speculating. SCA is speculating? That's what you're saying. Perhaps. Our investors are looking at Merrill speculating that this could have a material impact on them, forcing them to have to write down more, and it's not justified. Okay, Yoran, I want to bring you to, to something just a little bit different from all of this and, and brings it back to what's happening with the markets. Um, I personally believe, not that I would ever hope for this, but I think that had the Fed not stepped in, that we'd start at least within the next month, two months, six months, see at least one other, if not two or three other Bear Stearns situations. I think that these people are not being transparent. I think that the financials have worse troubles than we can anticipate. Um, going forward, we don't know for sure, but how do you play that as an investor? You know, I, I think you stay out of this market. I wouldn't be in the stock market right now. I think there's too much uncertainty. 
There's too much volatility. And I think whatever the Fed does, uh, it can't get it right. The, the Fed, by its very nature, is the kind of institution that is going to mess things up. Uh, it caused this problem. It's, gonna, it's it causing right now, by extending the window, by extending the window right now for prime brokers, it's causing the next problem. It's creating liquidity in areas where it, it should not be involved. It should not. Its business is not to shore up the investment banking business. The Fed shouldn't exist to begin with. Uh, and that's the fundamental problem we, that maybe continue, it's time to start talking about. As we continue the conversation, if we can roll through the Dow, NASDAQ, S&P, and Russell. Yesterday, everybody was up 4%. Today, we've now gone down about 2% for each of the major indices. Scott. Well, listen, yesterday there was a lot of option unwinding because there were tremendous bets that the entire market would crash before this option expiration because of what happened to Bear Stearns and that did not happen. Now Bear Stearns counterparty, the other people who had the other side of Bear Stearns trades have been protected. So that is a big downside that's not overhanging this market. You've got to let people take their profits that made their profits who took risk and bought well, things into the, way, the abyss. With all Listen, the I wish I had the guts to buy some of the financials the other day but I don't. I still think you've got Got to stay away from them for now, but With the rest of the market. Mike, it's sure. Mike, you have range, hold, you won't buy them. hold on, Mike. Somebody said to me, "We're all going to be this." Is somebody from one of the five investment banks said, "We're all going to jump into the punch bowl now after Sunday. We might as well just jump into it." I'm talking Goldman, well, everybody, Lehman, he, Morgan. What do you mean? Go said, to the I Fed. I said, go to the Fed. If they're, if they're going to offer up the cash, the hey, why not? Look, for, why not? Money. Take a look at the earnings that Goldman had and announced yesterday. Take a look at the earnings that Lehman had. Earn, I'm talking earnings, not losses, profits. Okay, take a look at Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley had the third best trading performance ever had in its history in this last quarter. This is the crazy thing about all this, Cheryl, is that these companies are still making money in spite of all this, and you know we're allowing them to go down. We're, this speculation is out of control. People are shorting these things. Twenty percent of the float in Bear Stearns was held by short sellers. Come on, Peter, they might be making money, but if you t if you look at they the assets, be, they are books, making no, but money. The assets on their books, if they had to mark them to market, all those profits Forget would vanish. That. Forget that. You can't. How do I make? money in this market. Well, you don't stay in this market. You get out. You get out of the dollar. You invest you get, abroad. Later, do, you get into, do you get into Zimbabwe plastic? Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> it's too late to get into that one. But, look, there's a lot of other stocks in Europe and Asia that are good values that pay Give 7, 8, Europe. 9 percent dividends. There, there's a whole list of them. Europe is you know, going to have the same problem the, we have, no, only, not, only no, worse, because they have no, no central bank that not, backs off the financial system. You've got to buy commodities. You know what an individual investor should do? Find stocks that have come way back down, who've given back their years of gains, that have no debt, and a solid, consistent business. For example, in the semiconductor world, everything you buy has a semiconductor in it. Peter will tell you nobody's going to buy anything except for food and bread. That's not true. A lot of these stocks will go up as soon as this crisis ends, or at least subsides. Yeah. And I think it's subsiding as we... Right. Right. But the stocks I'm buying are going up now. One of the names name. that I like is Cypress oh, Semiconductor. It's just under 20 bucks. They own a solar thing. They own... They, uh, they, ha they have $10 in yield? cash. What's the yield, Scott? There is no yield on it. Don't but buy it. Why? Why, Why? should you buy what? a company without getting any share of the profits? Well, buy buy uh, Pfizer. No. You get a 6% percent they They've got $10 dollars cash and no debt with a good operating business. You know what? This doesn't actually help our viewers. Thank you. When you yell over each other. Right. I think I'm just going to sell my entire 401k. I'm just going to cash out, right? You're guys? the bottom of the market. Thank yeah, you very much. You. It's the yeah. absolute worst I'm thing to do. I'm investing in duct tape to Don't put over it. their mouth. Don't Thank let them you. talk you out of selling. All right. Well, the trading day is coming to a close. We are 30 seconds away from the closing bell on a day where, yeah, we have lost.